Hi guys, what is up? Uh, today I felt like doing a uh, tutorial since I haven't done one in a really long time and uh, I was curious if you guys are wondering uh, what my render settings are in Sony Vegas Pro 10, Pro 11, sorry. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial and show you guys what my rendering sh render settings are for HD 720p. Um, I got this from another video and I uh, kind of altered the settings to my liking so that so it would be the probably the fastest render time as possible and still keep it good quality and have the file size as low as it can be. Now, I don't know if these uh, settings are the best, you know, they're just mine. I think they're good. They're good enough for me, but if you guys, um, you know, want to tell me any better settings, then leave me, in the, leave me a comment down below and tell me what settings do you have and if they're good or not, all the crap. And uh, also, uh, in the comment section below, leave a suggestion of what my next tutorial should be. It can be in Sony Vegas, it can be in Photoshop, it can be Basically anything, just leave me a tutorial because I like doing tutorials, but I really don't know what you guys want. So, and plus I haven't had any ideas recently, so just let me know down below and I'll show you. So let me uh, just import a video um, since it won't let me render with that one or anything in the timeline. So let's do my old intros I made. All right. Um, so then once you have your uh, video <clears throat> all set and ready to go, go to file, render as. Um, I have mine under the WMV format, so automatically goes to this the middle one, but I alter that one, so mine is this one. So you go down to uh, so just automatically go to the Windows Media Video V11 dot WMV, and I think that you can just click on any of these templates. Really, I say just click on the six megabits per second one, and then click Customize Template. So then, uh, obviously, you have the Include Audio button checked off. Mode CBR, Format, Windows Media Audio 9.2, uh, Attributes, not, I don't think that, you don't have to change those or anything. Let's go to Video, Mode, CBR, Format, Windows Media 9, Image Size, High Definition, 1920 by, no, 1280 by 720, sorry. And uh, you can actually change these if you want. You can have actually change it to 1920 by 1080 to have 1080p resolution, but I keep mine at uh, 720 since it makes the render quality, um, I mean render times faster. And uh, pixel aspect ratio, keep that at one square. Frame rate, 30 frames per second. Seconds per keyframe, five. Uh, click the override default compression buffer, seconds, make it a three. Video smoothest, have it at 100, which is the sharpest. And then um, bitrate, make sure inter internet slash LAN is checked off and have it at 4 million. Um, you can have it about 6 or, or 8. That gives it more higher quality, but it does slow down rendering time. So it all just really depends on how fast your computer is and how fast the specs are. So for Sony Vegas for rendering, you'll need a lot of RAM. I say uh, maybe 4 gigs, 4 gigabyte of RAM is good. If you want, you know, faster rendering and all crap, then you would probably need more than four, like maybe six, eight, even twelve. I have eight gigabytes in my RAM right now, so that's good. Let's keep that at four, which is like pretty basic one. Uh, you know, the mess around with this. The project video re video render quality at best. Stereoscopic 3D. Keep that nothing really, unless you use it, but I don't use it. And then when you're done, you can go up the template up here and change the name to whatever you like. Hit save button, and then you should be all set. So then once you've done that, it'll be highlighted, name your video, and then click render. So that's about it for my tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so as I said before, leave a suggestion down below what tutorial you would like to see next. And I will do it and give you your own little shout out. So thanks for watching.